And the next drill we're going to do is actually doing it with a golf club, striking a golf ball. It's one of the hardest ball striking drills in our program, but we'll, we'll demonstrate it now because the problem we have, if you can hand me a club, please, Joe. Hand me the driver, in fact. Uh, you know, one of the big, another one of the illusions is you get someone in, throw me a ball, please. You get someone in the proper get set position. We hear this all the time. Now, since we have kind of a boot camp golf school, and I'm the drill sergeant, I don't often hear this, but Joe, one of my assistants, or Cliff, will tell me, man, I had lunch with the students today after we did the get set position and pivot thrust, and they're all saying, wait a minute, Joe, Cliff, if, we get, if I get in this position, I'll, I'm already slicing the hell out of the ball. I'll never be able to square the club face up in time. No one believes if you get in this deep a position, maintaining some angle in your right arm and, and all of your wrist cock angle and, and backward right wrist hinge angle intact, nobody believes you could just pivot thrust and the club head will square itself up. Again, they say club face. It's not really the club face. It's the club head. People don't believe the club head will come over and make that 90 degree rotation from zero degrees to 90 in a fifteenth of a second. People believe it's literally not possible. So we actually do a demonstration drill where we hit driver doing this next drill and I'll have you hit some drivers and I'll, I'll hit some maybe driver as well. But it could be any club. For you guys at home, start with the easier. It's harder to do with the driver because it's a longer shaft, right? There's more nerve shafting on the shaft. And sure, for a while there, you'll probably do this drill. And you'll, they'll probably leak off 10 or 20 degrees to the right. All that means is you're not spinning fast enough. You didn't do a fast enough pivot thrust. But if you, but it, well, we're going to show you. It's possible to hit a straight ball with a driver with with a fast pivot thrust starting from about here and not even, you know, not doing a normal backswing, starting from here by pumping. You pump with your weight transfer, you pump with your hips, belly, and shoulders rotating. You do not watch, you do not pump. Although most of our students, when they first do the drill, they go, they go, they pump with their arms, of course, because that's what they're doing. They think they're supposed to hit the ball with your arms, right? So keep those arms tight against your chest while you pump. Okay, I'm going to give it that uh, first telephone pole on the right. This is my target. And if I spin fast enough, it should, the club head should swing around. If it doesn't go exactly straight, it goes a little to the right. It just means I didn't, I didn't uh, turn fast enough. So. Yeah. So it does, as long as you spin fast enough, and by the way, it's much harder to spin fast from here than it is from, uh, from up here. You got momentum because you're already spinning from here to here. So that gives you probably 25% more momentum. So if you can do it, hit it pretty straight like that, doing the pump from get set drill, it's much easier to do that same thing from top of backswing from a normal golf swing, right? But we do that, we call that a convincer exercise, because again, the average person does not believe you'll get that club head to swing around and make that 90 degree rotation in a 15th of a second. You know, part of our required reading, it's on your suggested reading list for the people who bought this program, but for our golf school attendees, it's required reading. There's a list of six books they have to buy and read before they take the golf school. One's called The Four Magic Moves to Winning Golf by Joe Dante and Les Elliott, written in 1962, one of the classics of uh, modern golf instruction. And most of that book's about how you can indeed do what used to be called a late hit or a late wrist cock angle release. We just say it's a properly timed. It's not late. It's right on time. When you, when you start to release it below waist height, somewhere between about here, here, and here. 
and he, he has photographs in there and, and a, a really good explanation using the laws of physics as to how that wrist cock angle can indeed open up very quickly in the 15th of a second by making a fast body rotation if you trust it. So it takes some trust, it takes some courage to believe that that can work and actually actually let it work hitting golf balls. But So if it leaks off to the right for a while, for a half hour, hour, two hours, don't stop doing it. Keep doing the drill. You can make the ball go dead straight. Okay? That's the pump from get set drill.